Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What it do, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we have something new for you guys, or not necessarily new, but you guys know what it is by the title. Today, we're going to be talking about PvP, and if it's a dub that they didn't put it in at the beginning of the game. Now, they've not gone on, gone on to say, oh, hey, we're never going to put this in right now. We know that it's not going to launch with PvP, but we don't know what they have for future plans, or if they already had plans to do this in the future to make, you know, separate PvP game modes or anything like that. So, we're talking about the present. Now, is it currently a dub for the game to not have PvP? Before we get into all of that, guys, I want to go ahead and tell you guys that I told you guys the other day in my last video that I was kind of thinking about something new that I could be giving away to make it so, you know, you guys got something new and something knocking it out of the park. Well, guys, I thought about it. I've made the decision. Since you guys responded so well to my uh, all of my Anthem videos, since I've been posting Anthem, you guys have responded so well, I thought that I want to give back to the Anthem community. I would love to be giving away a free copy of Anthem. So all you guys have to do is you guys will go to the link in the description below. You guys will get registered, get signed up, and you guys are going to be in your on your way to getting that game. Now, the thing is, is that you're going to be getting it for the console of your choice. So make sure that you guys are in the comment section telling me which console you guys want it on as well. So I know. Anyways, here's the deal, guys. We're gonna talk about a couple of the things that could be a positive, a possible negative, and why I think it's kind of a dub at the current moment, and also a way that they could kind of go about it to make PvP in the future more bearable. Now, first things first, a, a video, I think, I think it was two videos ago, I made a statement about how it's pve it's a majority pve game so i want to hit like trucks i don't want to a bunch of nerves a bunch of balances i just kind of want it to feel the most powerful i can feel and then you know uh, a person commented and he said you know well you know if everybody's going to be playing uh, the highest dps javelin there has to be balancing so balancing i just want to talk about that in regards to the balancing issue it's a lot easier to balance a game when it's only pve so it's never going to seem like such a heavy balance like nerf um when it comes to balancing things because they're op and pvp there's never that disconnect they kind of have to nerf things in both regards and because of that especially if it directly translates over and so because of that you'll never in this situation have an area where you're just like oh hey this this is too strong this ability is too strong this weapon's op you know you can kind of just go by what you think is great and obviously like i said there will be nerfs and tunes but they won't be as drastic they won't seem as heavy you know they'll be slight dis differences to damage not differences to bullet velocity and things like that that they tend to change inside of games based on the fact that pvp is is difficult and when you have a pvp type of server when you have a game that has pvp in it you also have to deal with community fragmentation and what i mean by community fragmentation this is actually this 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 is a great point brought up by a, uh, a man uh, or user on reddit named max detroit 79 community fragmentation comes like this when you have a type of skill or a, a type of game mode like you know like pvp and then you have your pve you have the people that a majority of the people want to play PvP, and then you have a majority of the people that want to play PvE, and so you have a community divided, and so the PvP players are always feeling, you know, there, there's a, a sense of toxicity that comes from PvP. It happens no matter what, because the idea of player versus player is to be the best, to be one of the, the one of the best competitors, to be one of the best players, and it doesn't matter if you go into the game with not thinking that. You can go into the game with the most positive attitude that you want to when it comes to PvP. PvP, if you get your ass whooped, you're going to try to become better. When you try to become better, you want to be better, and that's just how it goes. That is a natural gamer response. It, I, You know, at, at most, it's probably a natural human response. So with this being said, guys, the big thing that we have to see here is that at the current moment, to relieve ourselves of unnecessary, unnecessary balances, community division, and toxicity within the community i feel like not having it for now is a dub now what i did come up to mind with was that the fact that i'm not exactly sure how they can go about 
creating an end game that doesn't get boring after a while doing the same things over and over again especially with bullet sponges and things like that we don't know what type of end game there is now we have seen that there is different difficulty levels what i'm hoping for guys is i'm hoping for an end game and i would love for them to stream this so i can actually see what they have planned for end game or at least get a sneak peek of what they have planned for end game because like i've seen bits and pieces but i've not seen an actual definitive like i want to see what you have planned for us but i guess it's also a spoiler and i cannot wait because the game actually comes out on my birthday guys so i'm super excited to be giving away a copy but that's that's here nor there that's here nor there what i'm talking about is this there is a way that they could go about pvp without affecting anything i don't think that you should carry over your javelin from the main story i think there should be set loadouts and classes and from there you know you have your strategic game modes you have your capture the flag you have your team deathmatch or you have your battle royale now i know i say battle royale but i don't mean like a full-on battle royale i'm more of mean a scavenge for a weapon and you get x amount of lives maybe five lives and such like that you know uh, um, a, a round base like you know uh, uh, each elimination counts against your team and your team has a, a certain pool of lives you know kind of search and destroy as type of game mode but i feel like that could be added on later now the big thing that i want to come back to is you know ghost recon wildlands now if none of you have played that game before it launched a pvp later on that was full of strategic game modes as you would assume any tom clancy game would and so because of that there is a very very healthy community over there and yeah it you know like i said no pvp comes without toxicity but i think that's something we need to work up to i think we need to appreciate this game and everything it has to offer now another thing i thought of as in, in game because that's what i was thinking i was thinking pvp could be something that gets added on later that you know it kind of helps with the end game it kind of improves the longevity of the game but i also thought of how they could have the recreating dungeons now this was uh done in diablo you know they have the um the rifts and you go into the rifts and it's always different you know you're fighting different bosses with different you know negative and positive effects on them you know different elements different things that make them stronger or make you weaker different things that change the ebb and flow of each and every rift and you know the higher level one that you do the better the rewards now i found this very fun a uh, season system where you know you maybe you have a javelin that you know you get certain abilities and then every season they add different abilities and i think that they should really think about things like that now i like that classic rpg element to the game but will they go through it is it time consuming i think so but i also think thematic seasons to which your character gets reset or a you can select a character uh to you know have reset one that you know that is going to be you know taken away at the end of the season i believe that type of you know in game is an in game that can create a very long standing life for a game especially if you look at games like diablo eh, which is a very very fun role playing game if you guys haven't played it because i know a lot of people are young you know so some people haven't experienced this if you guys haven't played diablo the best one you could probably get your hand on right now is diablo 3 so i should definitely think you guys should check that out if you guys are into anything like role playing games where you know you have to hack things up and loot but this i'm rambling i'm rambling the point is guys right now at the current moment i think they did a very good job not launching the game with pvp we don't need the community focused on that we need the community focused on becoming an actual community and starting a great time for this game and creating a very positive community that you know revolves around making sure this game flourishes and you know just having the most fun we possibly can but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that like button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my videos and like i said guys make sure you when you guys are signing up for the giveaway you guys comment down below what console you guys want it on so i know thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next one with that being said i'm out of here peace